Hello everyone, my name is Rhoda and today I'm going to talk about the impact of large language models or LLMs on science communication, especially in multilingual contexts. These powerful tools have made significant strides in how we share scientific knowledge, but also how we come up with challenges during using th those tools, particularly when translating between languages like English and Arabic. As of 2024, there are approximately 417 million people worldwide who speak Arabic, which accounts for about 5.4% of the global population. Arabic is nearly spoken in 25 independent countries and several territories where it's an official or co-official language. Despite the um, significant number, Arabic speakers often face challenges when using LLMs due to these models being predominantly trained on English data, which further leads to inherent biases. Even when you input text in Arabic, these models often process the information internally in English, and of course this can result in the loss of cultural nuances and context uh, sensitivity uh, during translation or summarization. For example, Arabic translations often suffer from oversimplification or incorrect translations of scientific terms, making it harder and harder to communicate scientific ideas effectively across languages. As the table shows here from the 2024 article published in the Journal of Artificial Intelligence and Technology, the article here compares ChatGPT and Google Translate focusing on their translation um, quality, especially between Arabic and English. It highlights differences in um, accuracy, handling of uh, cultural uh, nuances, and the preservation of context in translations, showing where each model excels or falls short. The study also emphasizes the importance of accurate and culturally sensitive translations in multilingual communication. Summarizing scientific content is challenging for LLMs, as models primarily trained on English data are more accurate in um, English, but struggle with the, uh, the Arabic language due to limited non-English uh, uh, training data. This restricts um, their ability to accurately condense um, complex information. For instance, Microsoft research indicates that 88% of the world's languages spoken by 1 to uh, 1.2 billion people lack access to LLMs, mainly because they are English-centered. When I conducted myself an experiment uh, using prompt engineering on ChatGPT 4.0 to summarize two scientific articles, one in English and the other in Arabic, I observed a stark contrast in the quality of the summaries generated. For the English article titled Using um, Artificial Intelligence to Diagnose Autism in the Womb from Skyworthy, I applied a series of iterative uh, prompts to refine the summary. The result was satisfactory. The summary was concise, coherent, and accurately captured the essence, um, the essence of the original article. Definitely, this demonstrated the model's strong ab capability to handle um, English content, likely due to the extensive English language training data it was exposed to during its development. However, when I applied the same approach to an Arabic article from uh, Frontiers for Young um, Minds, the results were far less consistent. Despite using the same model and prompt engineering techniques, the Arabic summary exhibited several issues. It lacked consistency in conveying the original message showing variations in language comprehension. The quality of writing was inconsistent too. Therefore, the model struggled with translating technical concepts clearly, leading to a summary that was less transparent and harder to understand. Wrapping it up, the current, uh, the current biases and inefficiencies, particularly between English and Arabic, underscore the need for more inclusive and culturally aware models. As computational linguistics evolves, it is absolutely essential to develop LLMs that can bridge these gaps, ensuring that scientific knowledge is accessible and accurately communicated across global and marginalized languages. Thank you for your attention and listening.